Right there guys, Simon here, and he is pipe smoker. God, I'm absolutely shattered. Obviously you're not seeing these videos necessarily in chrono chronological order, but uh, yeah, after a long day walking around Andorra, going to the Tobacco Museum, I mean obviously I only sort of filmed the highlights, um, and it's made me feel slightly nostalgic um, on the whole um, vibe of travelling. Um, all of that waiting in direct sunlight, waiting for the bus to come that's late, and uh, aching feet, and uh, getting thirsty and dehydrated, and all of the um, all of the stuff that you don't uh, necessarily see on travel blogs and um, this kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, good fun. Uh, I really feel, um, I don't know, such a full day uh, with good feelings of accomplishment. I mean, the Tobacco Museum was absolutely um, amazing. Um, and I'm smoking, that's not my first cigar. Um, I've smoked quite a bit of it, actually. It, it, it was quite a long cigar. Um, when I lived in Portugal, I, I smoked some good cigars, but... I didn't really know how to smoke them then, you know, I, I was more of a cigarette smoker, um, so, you know, it, it wasn't really um, anything, you know, I, I didn't know, my palate wasn't developed enough to um, understand cigars, but after pipe smoking for some time now, a few years, a couple of years, yeah, um, I better show you what I'm smoking. It's handmade in Nicaragua, and it's by no means um, a, a top shelf cigar or anything. And I have no palate for cigars, and I, you know I struggle to describe pipe tobacco. I either like it or I don't like it. That, that's, that's kind of um, <laughs> the depth of my reviews, pretty much. I guess first things first, um, initially it really wasn't drawing and because I, I, I don't have um, what's the word, a reference point, I, I don't really know how it should draw, but I, I was pretty certain that it was not drawing correctly. Um, obviously I don't have a cigar cutter so I looked online of how to do it and stuff, but when I was um, doing that I, I, I felt something um, I think I've thrown it away but there was actually kind of a bit of a stick at the end of the cigar that I pulled out and once I pulled the stick to stick out yeah it smokes great um, I'd say it's quite a mild cigar but the biggest difference I can tell between, I mean, when I say it's my first cigar, I mean, I, I've smoked things like Hamlet and Cafe Creme and stuff like that in the past. And they've never really done it for me because this may sound a little bit bizarre, but they remind me of eating liver. Now, and I must add, I, I do actually enjoy eating liver. Um, but that's by and by. Um, but the comparison is, when I've smoked, like, um, like I said, you know, Hamlet's, Café Cremes, Villager, you know, the, that, that kind of um, cigar, they always have this, like, metallic taste to them. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but, well, it's metallic. Um, like, liver tastes a bit like iron, which makes sense, I guess, considering it's a liver and what livers do and all that kind of jazz. This cigar... No, there's there's none of that kind of um, tin foil metallic -y taste going on. It's it's actually very smooth, incredibly mild, and quite enjoyable as well. Actually, I must admit, I'm not going to become Ariège um, <laughs> cigar smoker by any stretch, but um, I must say though. After, after like, yeah, it's probably a good eight or ten hours on foot walking around. Bloody, it's incredibly hot here when the sun's out. Um, 
I'm finding this incredibly relaxing. I mean, I'm, I'm probably an hour into it, to be honest now. You know, like I said, it was, it, it was a lot, lot, you know, it's a big cigar. Um, it hasn't gone out, no tamping required. And I must admit, at this precise moment in time, I'm kind of enjoying it maybe a little bit more than a pipe. Um, just because I don't think it's a very complicated cigar, it's a very mild cigar, but just for the lack of maintenance needed, you know, light it up, chew away, chuff away. And yeah, it's kind of hitting the spot actually, to be fair, as is. Which is a French wine, and it's it's incredibly cheap. Um, bloody hell, when I say incredibly cheap, you know, it's like three euros fifty in big supermarkets generally. Um, but it's a, a really good quality Bordeaux. Well, I say obviously it's not a good quality Bordeaux at three euros fifty a bottle, but it is very passable. Um, it has many fans in France actually. Um, because it could be a bit of a gamble getting um, bottom shelf wine, shall we say. But this is a great, a really great wine. Um, you can never go wrong with it. Uh, it's from 2019. It's aged in, um, let's translate it, in um, oak barrels. 13.5%. And, you know, it has some accountability. But yeah, it's, it's a great go-to um, wine, actually, you know, and like I said, I, I am no to, um, cigar expert by any stretch. Well, I, I, I'm not a cigar expert, no stretching involved. However, this cigar kind of complements this wine in the sense that inexpensive, relatively simple, and it does what is needed. This campsite is so noisy, you can, you can probably hear all the motorbikes and stuff going past. So any, anyway guys, I just kind of thought I would share my first real um, cigar experience. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's many um, cigar experts that go, pop, 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 quorum, quorum shade, <laughs> what's he talking about? But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it actually. Um, I say you know, I can't pick out any different notes or anything, um, but very mild, very relaxing. It's the nail on the head. That's the, word, that's the expression I was looking for. And yeah, I have no more words to say, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next video. You know guys, there's two kinds of people in this world. There's the high rollers, and then there's the others. I assimilate with the former, rather than the latter. So, as a newfound high roller, they can't see anything because he's got his sunglasses on. Um, I've delved into the world of cigars with a second cigar. Uh, let me part of gas Habana Cuba and I must admit this way 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 supersedes the um, previous cigar this is uh, something that, that that's really um, from the get-go um, is infinitely more I'm not gonna say better but more akin to my personal tastes there's a lot more body and I, I can actually kind of um, pick out some tobacco notes in there as well
there are that I can differentiate. Um, there, there are. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the previous cigar was really mild. It's very homogenised, and I, I, I couldn't really. Um, th there wasn't really much going on in the flavour profile. This is a whole different kettle of fish. Um, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess because obviously my experience is um, pipe tobaccos, not not cigar tobaccos. So, um, but yeah, it's a lot more um, a lot more complexity there going on. If I had to draw a comparison, I would say the previous cigar was very much along the lines of And these are metaphorical comparisons, not um, not actual observations. Um, I, I, I would say the previous cigar was very much like something like um, Capstan Yellow or Capstan Gold or um, Amphora Virginia. Um, bit nondescript, nothing really offensive going on, um, you know, but 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 pleasant nonetheless. This number, though, is bloody and lovely. Um, it's a lot more along the lines of, um, uh, say, for example, three nuns would be would be oh, obviously it's one of my. Um, <laughs> you might have noticed it's one of my um, preferred uh, pipe tobaccos at the moment. And actually, this this is not so dissimilar. Um, the flavour profile. I have no idea what's in it. You know, I've done no research. As you know, I do not research my videos. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, Jesus. What a smoke. Well, I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying this, actually, guys. Um, and I'm pairing this cigar with a fine bottle of. Sao Domingos, uh, Saint, Saint Domingo, I guess in English. I have no idea what it is. It's some Spanish wine. Again, as such a high roller, I do like to um, dabble in the um, murky world of bottom shelf wines, just to see what the other half are drinking. But yeah, guys, this is actually kind of incredible cigar. Actually, I, I you know I haven't I haven't had a cigar that tastes like this before. But I don't smoke cigars. This could convert me. <laughs> However, you know, the, the, there is um, the price point. Um, I mean, obviously in America, this will be a. Uh, I don't know, I don't think you can get Cuban cigars in America. Um, you know, I think this cost me the best part of 10 euros, this cigar. So I imagine outside of Andorra, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess of how much it would cost. Um, at least double, possibly, yeah, probably double if I had to buy the same cigar in um, uh, France or England, possibly. But wow. That's all I can say, guys. Wow. Ariage pipe smoker is now going to become Ariage cigar smoker. <laughs> I jest, I jest.
Right, I'm going to sign off, guys, because I need to save some battery power and make room on my memory card for um, more exciting videos from the mundane world of Simon. I'm not sure if I'm going to post this video. Um, I've drunk a bottle of wine, so <laughs> it might come over as a slightly... Um, Oh, you make your own minds up. I'll post it or I won't post it. We shall see. Signing off. See you on the next video, guys.